Hey hey, another video again. Um, today we're doing a taste test. We're testing Pepsi Max. No, we're not. We're testing um, this home brand, home brew that I did a few weeks ago. Um, not gonna lie, not actually my first test, my first taste of this brew. I've drank a couple of bottles of these actually already. Um, I won't spoil the rest of the video, but I haven't actually filmed it and had a look at what it looks like, showing you what it looks like. Oh god, that glass is dirty. Um, not my usual spot, it's a little bit noisy in the house today, so I try to find somewhere quiet. So I'm literally on a little corner table in my room. So anyway, let's get this out. Um, I will say without spoilers, mildly surprised. Definitely better than the last time I did home brand. So let's go and start. Pouring this stuff. <sighs> Find some little holder up. That didn't work very well, did it? Okay. Let's go. So hell is fizz. Okay. Right, so giving her a nice little pour. Um, I found this with the other bottles that I have drunk of this patch. It did carbonate quite nicely, actually. You can see that. I mean, not too much, but a, a good amount. A good amount. It certainly passes the test. Got good colour. It's nice and clear. I mean, it looks like a good beer. It doesn't look bad at all. And the head dissipates pretty quick. Right, let's taste this one. Just a uh, smell. Definitely got that homebrew smell to it. Yeah, it's not terrible to be honest. Look, if I had to put a thing to it, it just tastes like a watered down lager. That's really um, all I get out of it. It's, uh, it tastes like a homebrew watered down lager. Definitely doesn't have that commercial sort of tang to it. But this is not a bad drink. Um, I'm actually impressed with something that costs, you know, $12 to put together for 20 something litres, 22 litres, give or take. And it makes a pretty good batch. Now, I didn't take any gravity readings when I built, made this. I just sort of put it together and had a drink. Mm. It's actually not bad to the point where I want to experiment more with that crap. I'm probably going to chuck. I'm actually thinking I might do it again soon. I just bottled a batch today of pale ale, nothing fancy. Um, but what I might do is potentially make another batch of home brew, home brand, and um, I'll try to find some sort of hops that'll go well with this one. Just dry hopping. I'm not doing anything fancy. I really don't have the energy these days to. To do a proper brew, I haven't done one of them in a while. So yeah, I'm actually mildly impressed with this. This is just a can of home brand lager, eight dollars twenty-three at Woolworths. One kilogram of dextrose. It's pretty much as cheap as you can make a batch of beer without going stupid, like I did once before, where I put plain white sugar in. That was just really bad, really really bad. Um, man, give it a go. I mean, for a beer that costs you 50 cents a litre, are you going to complain? I mean, I'm drinking 1.25 litres of this right now and it's going to cost me, what, 60 cents to drink? Oh. <sighs> Give it a shot. Um, I'm going to probably want to experiment more with it in the future. I'd love to hear some sort of crazy ideas people have made. And I've done a toucan before, just a plain toucan. Uh, I was not a huge fan, but I'd be keen to give it another shot. Maybe my tastes have changed since then. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what sort of crazy hop combinations, or even you know, doing a toucan, mix it with something else. Maybe a can of Woolies and then a can of I don't know, real ale or something. I don't, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, give it a shot. Love to hear what you're doing. Um, keep on brewing, I guess. Uh, just don't. Going nuts. I know it's very easy to drink a lot when we're sort of in lockdown, being there myself. So yeah, just stay safe and just brew, brew, brew well and brew cheaply. 
we all got to save money these days. Cheers.